Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. And um, tonight, I'm going to be doing a quick announcement, and then I got fan mail. Hi, Borgs! He followed me in! He followed me! Hi, buddy! I think there was somebody else that was like, oh my gosh, how could I be so lucky? And they're, they're in here as well. Um, anyhow, uh, before we get started, I have to do the Koji announcement, because we have a competition going on. It is a meme competition. And today's video is going to be your source code or your source for trying to create some kind of Roblox uh, Lumber Tech into Code Primate meme. And you're going to put it into Koji and you're going to put in hashtag Code Fart to be entered to win. Uh, let me pull up the thing here. There it is. So what is Koji? Koji is interactive memes entertainment and just basically remix anything anywhere, anytime. So head over here, create yourself an account. Um, remix a meme, create a new meme, start something awesome, and uh, put in the hashtag code fart. Hashtag code fart. Yes, that's right. Not hashtag code art, not hashtag code primate. I mean, you could put code primate if you wanted to, but it won't get you into the competition. It's hashtag code fart. Use today's video, and you could win one of the ten, no, one of the twenty. $10 Robux cards that were given away. It's free Robux. I mean, you can't you can't argue with that. It's just great. So what you can do is like, let's say I wanted to remix this one. I could jump in here and uh, okay. Okay, maybe not this one, but you, you hit this little remix button down here and then it allows you to come in and create all these different gifts. So like each one of these is a GIF. You can you can change out and wait, are these GIFs or are these GIFs themselves? Hold on. Is this a GIF? I have no clue what this is. Test. Hi. I guess these are built-in GIFs. So, I'm not sure what that is. Okay. That doesn't really work for me. Yeah, I'm sure. Leave it. Now let's head back. Back one. Uh, let's try the, the Arnold one. Hey, Arnold! Arnold! So then you could hit this remix button. And then change it up. That one's already built in, so it's kind of stuck. Um, <laughs> looking at pictures of me with no hair gel. <laughs> that's actually that's kind of funny. Um, anyhow, I'm I'm not gonna save it. I'm not. You guys get the idea. Come in here, uh, do some remixing and have some fun with it it's it's a lot of fun um let's do the let's do the fan mail hold on so oh sorry uh link to description or link will be in the description down below to get out to koji so you can go and win some free robux stuff like that fade 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 okay so i got a letter i went to my po box today and this doesn't have a return address on it so right there that's the letter that came in thank you and it says Dear Mayor Code, oh sorry, Hi, uh, hello, I am thrilled to be writing you, uh, writing to you. My name is Kaylin, and I am 13 years old. I don't mind you saying that. I live on an island called G U E R N S E Y, Grunzi. Grunzi. I'm probably sure it's a it's a really common name, and I'm just messing it up. So I'm sorry. I apologize. It's an island off the coast of France. I am not French, by the way. I love your videos because they are calm and relaxing. Uh, you inspired me to be, make my own channel. It's called KND. That's, there's little quotes around the end. So capital K, uh, single quote, N, single quote, D. KND. Uh, I would be grateful. I would be grateful if you linked it to the description oh I would be grateful if you linked it in the description down below uh, if I can find it absolutely uh, I look in the description down below did I link it if I didn't remind me um, smiley face also I started playing projute the other day I will tell you uh, I will tell you then what happened I followed your videos for I followed your vids for when it went exploring and got lost smiley face or laughy face uh, a bit 
Okay, I followed your videos and went exploring and got lost for a bit. I was lost for what seemed forever. I managed to find the center island. Then I kind of turned to someone who took me to your island. Then was just chilling with Defaultio. He's a really cool guy in Roblox. I got a screeny. I am still a noob, but it's really fun. Some cool guy. Shout out to you. Oh, some cool guy. Shout out to you. He helped me get uh, started. I'm homeless on Projute right now because I still don't know how to play very well. Also, I have messaged you every day to tell you to have a great day. I am I am Masquerade Banana from Twitter. I hope you like the art that I did for you. Thank you for reading this and have a great day. Yours sincerely, Kalen. K-A-L-L-E-N. Uh, P.S. I made a new word. Lette. L-E-T-T-E equals letter. And then that's it. It doesn't have a return address, which is okay. I mean, we don't have to write you back or anything. I'm reading it on video. I hope that's like a huge thing. And then the art. Number one YouTuber. Yeah! Dude, that is awesome. Um, I used to hang all my uh, art inside my cubicle. I don't have a cubicle anymore. I have an office, so I, I, all my art is kind of in a file waiting for, for like a, a cork board kind of thing. But thank you so much, Kalen, for drawing a picture and writing me a letter and, and sending me things. Thank you. I appreciate it. By the way, if you guys wanted to send uh, mail yourself, you absolutely can do it right here. Code Primate, P.O. Box 8004, Springfield, Missouri 65801. I have a P.O. Box. I check it at least once a week uh, to see if anything's come in. Um, I don't get as many uh, fan mails as I used to, but that's great. That's that's less time than I have uh, to, to like run around and, and go crazy and, and everything else. I was checking it like every day there for a long time, but anyhow. Long story short, that's where it's at. If you do need that address again, it is in the description of uh, the about page of my channel. So that is that. Let's get started with the game. Woo! Hi all. Hi code. Hey. Hey everyone. So last time we left off, we had uh, just finished this little area right here. That well, little area. But we had just finished the conveyor belt. So everything is in place for auto sorting. All I gotta do is chop wood and put stuff in. I gotta check the wood real quick, make sure that every single one of them has a piece of wood in it. That, like this one right here. This one does not have a piece of wood in it. Of course, I don't think I have that kind of wood anyway. What's this doing down here? This isn't, that's not where you go, sir. Yoink. Wait, did I get on there? Okay, it's kind of turny. There we go. I don't know if that's going to set anything off, but we're going to try throwing it on. Why not? <laughs> I didn't see it in here. Yeah, there's there's no piece for that. Hmm. That's okay. Let's try throwing that up there. Did that do it again? It did. <laughs> I'm going to have to build a, a, a layered wall so it doesn't get stuck like that. You, I'm just going to assume you go there. You, you can go in there. Oh, I can't, I can't pick up any more axes. Your backpack is full. Uh, wee! Oh no, I, I didn't make it. Hold on. Wee! Oh, oof, my face. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we mini long plank right here? Let's do a mini long plank. Come on. Mini long planks, mini, mini long planks. Yoink. There you go. There you go, buddy. Good luck to you. And I can't I can't tell which ones these are, so I'm just going to <laughs> drop these in here. And we'll hope for the best. Now wait, did did I do a thing with birch wood? Because we found out that this is not birch, right? Like this is birch wood, that's not. But all these walls and stuff, these these are not birch wood, right? All right, let's tear this out of here and, uh-oh. Uh oh no, is there a control Z? 
Oh no, I just destroyed the back wall. Code, what are you doing? The, the back walls on that side are all the same wood. Oh no. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Let's zoom out. Uh, go to the floors. Go to large tiles. Let's see. Let's do uh, a turn and just set it right down in here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Oh gosh. Come on. Maybe if I... Uh, why? Oh, 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 oh. It like flashes the... Ah, there it is. There we go. Okay, cool. Let's hit B. Uh, this needs to go in there. Boink, like that. Okay, this one. We can take this one out. Destroy. 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 And destroy. There we go. Oh, oh, I can't reach that one. Uh, destroy. And destroy. And destroy, destroy, destroy. So we got four more. I want to make sure that it's right. That's, that's one of my biggest things. Oh, by the way, I was supposed to give you guys some meme faces so you could uh, do the those Koji memes. Hold on, where's my serious mode? There we go. Here we go. Um, let's see. Can I turn off the chroma key? <clears throat> okay, I'll give you a couple of faces like... Hold on, I'm, I'm breaking my microphone. Oh, that could be a meme right there. I mean, that, that face, like, oh. There you go. So that should give you a couple of meme faces that you can you can work into your memes uh, or, or whatnot, make, make special assets out of, so. <sighs> Hopefully it works well, and you should be able to delete the, uh, the background as well. So let's go back to the large floor and do a rotate. Okay, there's one. Oh, I gotta I gotta pull this off. There we go. Two, three. Mm -mm. Four. There we go. And then we should be able to go right here. One. Two. Three. Oh, come on. Come on. Get on there. Get on there. You little silly. Oh, oh. Down one. There we go. And then we need to rotate. Whoa, did that just move? Oh no, that was the one I was going to use. Oh well. Um, let's see here. Can I can I just I know I'm using up a lot of wood to do this, but you know what? I just just, just kinda wanna get it done, you know? And we can go collect some birch trees and, and try it out. That should be all the birch though. One more, one more. Yep, little birch right there. Boom. Boom boom boom. A boom 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 rubber hammer say way oh Did I say that right? I don't know, I don't know. I'm old. We used we used to uh, have that song at the high school dance. Back when I was a dancing fool. I need to go collect up some birch wood, so let's, I'm gonna go grab some birch birch wood. Birch wood wait, where am I okay, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> Birchwood, we gotta go this way. <sighs> Again, I got asked today, like, Code, do you play lumber because you enjoy it? Yes. I really do. I enjoy the game itself. Oh, and I do apologize about the fan that's on in the background. 
uh, it is really hot in my garage and normally I would come out like an hour early and turn it on and try and get it to cool down but it just it did not cool down tonight at all so uh, I know that school is getting ready to start okay and there's there's a lot of stress that comes with school starting anyway but with the coronavirus on top of it and with all the schools being like oh yeah we're gonna open up so you can get the social experience and everything it's not going to be the same social experience a lot of parents are like social interaction is very important for kids that's great if it were the normal social interactions that they would be getting normally and in this new situation in this new world it's not going to be the same so i wanted to tell you i wanted to make sure that i said my piece on here be diligent if you cannot take online classes which by the way my kids are not going back into that school i'm sorry i am the only like me and my wife are the ones who know what's best for our kids and i'm extremely paranoid i'm not about to take a chance that i could put my kids into danger no offense and you guys might be like oh code it's not that dangerous their kids can get over it really quickly guess what that's the same with influenza and by keeping them out of school i don't have to worry about influenza either i don't have to worry about them picking up chicken pox uh, or measles or any kind of disease and at the same time it is 2020 the social aspect of life has changed and i really i really wish the actual boomers and the actual old people and yeah i'm talking to like the parents here all right i wish you would catch up because it you, you can be social without ever coming in contact with somebody like i am social on here and i interact with a lot of people and if i wanted to I could throw on my VR headset, I could jump into a game, I could go to my Discord. There are so many means to go and talk with friends, to have fun with friends, and to actually like hang out. You don't need to go out and be social, okay? That's like, uh, my wife was saying something like, well, if we are going to homeschool the kids, I want her to get a hold of some of her friends, and then like once a week, we'll go out to, to eat somewhere. I said, where are you going to eat? Every place that you go to sit down to have a meal is locked down. There, there is no place to go eat. And she's like, oh, well, maybe we could pick up something and have a picnic. The parks are closed. There's, I don't know if I'm being paranoid or if people just aren't understanding. Maybe my wife just doesn't understand. Or maybe I'm being way too paranoid. I c it could be just me. But if you are in a situation where you're going to have to go back to school and you have to go into classrooms, be diligent. Wash your hands. Keep your face mask on at all times. And if you see anybody not doing it, you protect yourself. You stay away from that person. You tell them to, hey, get your mask on or put a mask on. Or you go tell a teacher. Like, I don't I don't want to sound like the bearer of bad news, but I would really be upset if I found out that some kid was not wearing a mask and got one of my kids sick because they decided that they weren't going to wear a mask or that they put their mask just over their chin and not their nose and wore it properly. Like... And my wife, trust me, she was battling for the kids to go back to school. She was. And then I said, what if, like, I said no, because I'm still going to say no. It's not even a discussion of whether or not I want the kids back in school. I'm saying no. What if we let the kids go back to school, one of them contracts it, is asymptomatic, we don't know about it, brings it back, and I die. How would she feel if that happened? And I was the one that was like, no, I don't want it happening. And they kind of put it in perspective. 
my daughter, she was very adamant. She was like, I want to go back to school. I can't wait to go back to school to see all my friends and everything else. And I told her, Hope, when you go back to school, it's not going to be the same. You will have to stay six feet away from all of your friends. All of you will have a mask on and you won't be able to see each other's smiling faces. When you're inside the classroom, you're going to have to stay six feet apart. When you go to lunch, you're going to have to stand in lines six feet apart. It's not the social interaction that you're thinking of. It is a new world. Whether people want to admit to it or not, whether you're Republican, you're Democrat, I don't care. There is no bias to the virus. There is no age limit to the virus. And I want this to be perfectly clear. Like, it is real. People are dying because people aren't listening. <sighs> With that being said, I'm still a family-friendly YouTuber. I'm still very much... I, I care for you guys, and I want you to be so safe. Please, please be safe out there. Because... I'm not playing around with this thing. I had uh, I had my mask on. I've got the RZ mask, which is a it's a professional grade mask. Anyhow, I looked into it. That mask only protects me. It doesn't protect others around me because it's got ventilation systems with that poof out. So if I'm asymptomatic, it doesn't protect you guys. Like I could have the virus, you not know it. I'm wearing a mask. You feel safe. I'm protecting myself. Um, I had a couple of people at work. Uh, not the guys that I work with, but like different departments. They kind of were staring me down like, why are you got a mask on, dude? Blah, blah, blah. About a week later, it became mandatory. Everybody wears a mask. And they got upset. <laughs> to the point that I think some of the, the employees at the, the place that I work are rebellious against it. They're like, well, you don't feel like we need to wear a mask, or whatever the case may be. I'm taking a picture of them. Now, I'm not going to send it to anybody. I'm not going to tell anybody, but if it comes back and they get sick, I have something to like pull up and be like, do you remember when I told you when I said, put on a mask? Like, that's... <sighs> I should calm down for a second. Because... I get passionate about a lot of things. And when it comes to adults thinking that their rights are being taken because they're forced to wear a mask... We're not taking away any rights. We're not doing some kind of, like, inhumane thing here. It's very much, it is a virus, and it's for your protection, it's for our protection. Well, that's America, and it's my freedom not to wear one. You're the cause. I know, uh, there was uh, a video of some reporter who was getting berated by these protesters and not a single one of them had a mask on they're like you're the one spreading the rumors you're the one spreading the lies not lies like I, I don't care who you are um, it's not spreading a fear it's spreading information and it's making a very informed decision about what you should do now if you choose not to wear a mask you are taking a risk and if you wear a mask and you have an excuse like well it's causing breathing problems or something I've been wearing my mask for two weeks straight I have not had any problems um, it gets a little uncomfortable sometimes but when I'm not in when I'm in my office by myself or when I'm in an area that's not public not it had people breathing in it every five seconds I take it off and I'll, I'll sit without it for a second let my face breathe you know but I'm also the person that's walking around with the spray sanitizer in the back pocket spraying down every handle that I come to spraying my hands every five seconds I'm that guy I'm I'm the the one who's just 100% paranoid 
about this virus. I don't want to get it. I don't even want to test to get it. And, and when the vaccine comes out, I'm probably not going for the vax at least for six months. I'm going to let that thing go through and like let the first clinical trials go through. And then after the clinical trials, see what the first wave of people does. Because I don't want to be that one percent who made it through the trials and it just didn't work quite the way that it was supposed to. Yeah, I'm that paranoid. I might sound like a crazy person, and I'm sorry, but at the same time, I'm just telling you what I feel, what I think, and that's the basis of my entire channel. <clears throat> what kind of video would it be if I didn't tell you? Ooh, that would be a really good meme. If you were to go over to Koji and create a meme about me and coronavirus. <laughs> too soon? <laughs> Maybe too soon. Who knows? Who knows? wood blockage. Ah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. What is this? Is this, uh... Yeah, that's in times wood. We're gonna need an in times axe for that one. Buddy. I'm sorry, cuz... Why, 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 what? Why are you... Sorry? I, I don't know what happened. What happened? He says, I'll show you. Okay. Okay. Is it up here? Does it have something to do with the, the wood itself? Hold on. Do we have a block? They're saying wood blockage. Ah. Yes. Wood blockage. There we go. There we go. It's going through. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Stunks. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. <laughs> Hit my head on the wire. Okay, maybe not going up that way. Oh, come on. <laughs> Says this bin here. Okay, what's what's wrong with this bin? Oh, did those pieces? I see what happened. Okay, we can just we can just drop those in. That's okay. <laughs> I cleared some of it. The wrong wood type went in. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I'm gonna trust the system that it's it's correct. Not the government. That's that's not what I was saying. I'm gonna trust my uh, conveyor system. I trust my conveyor system more than I trust our government. Is that is that weird of me? Am I am I weird for thinking that? I mean, I used to serve the government. I was part of the military, and I still am very wary about who I trust inside the system. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Hold on, can we just get this up there? There we go. Hit B on that. We'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's okay. It's okay. I probably should have put the things on the other side, huh? Oh well. Oh well. Go get some more wood here. Uh, let's chop this. We're, we're gonna chop this in two. Uh, didn't we have a chop saw? Mm, yeah. It'd be faster just to do this. Oh, wait. What time is it? Oh my gosh, it's exactly 30 minutes. I have not been watching the timer the whole time. I look over and it's like right on the 30 minute mark.
Can I get a hashtag 30 down in the chat? Blah, 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 blah. If you want. You don't, you don't have to do any of that. Um, let's go ahead and throw this in the back. I was going to cut it in two again, but I mean, that's might be a little ridiculous. Code, hey, guess what? What's up, buddy? What's up? You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stick around for it. I'm, I'm done. All right, outro, outro time. Outro times. Smiley face. Do 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 all right, like I said last time, uh, don't forget Koji Games with Koji.com. We are doing a meme competition for Roblox and for uh, Lumber Tycoon 2 and for Code Primate. Um, make sure you put your entries under hashtag Code Fart. Yes, you can make more than one meme. Yes, you can make more than one game. You, As long as you use hashtag Code Fart, that is the key. Okay? the We're going to be doing it all week. It's for five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. After Friday, on Saturday, I'm going to go through and start picking. I might not get done on Saturday. There's there's a lot of memes already in there. I've I've counted the hashtags. Somebody put in like 25 memes. I, I mean, it's gone down since then, but one person could do 25 memes, okay? If you happen to win one off one of your memes, you don't get any more meme, uh, any more Robux. You get the one card, and all the rest of your memes go out the window, okay? So, if you want to do more than one, you absolutely can. If you don't want to and you just want to put in one, that's fine too. If you don't want to do any and you just want to go over and check them out, do that. Okay? This is this is all like advertising and stuff. By the way, just a disclosure, I'm not getting paid for this. Alright? So I don't have to claim this as like a paid promotion thing because I'm not paying anyone. I'm just having fun with it. Um, that's not to say they won't pay me later. Oh, I forgot to ask about pay. Hey Koji, are you guys going to pay me? I don't know. Ah, well. Uh, I, I should get a t-shirt or something like that. Um, they said they were going to send me a t-shirt. I like I like t-shirts. If you have a brand name, or say your parents have their own business, and they want me to wear something, all right, I don't charge anything for it. Send me a t-shirt. Send it to the P.O. box. Say, hey, Code, would you mind wearing this on stream? Absolutely. Unless it's something like non-family friendly that I couldn't wear. But I mean, for the most part, most things I can wear. I mean, all my advertisements that happen on the the YouTube channel, they're they're fine, right? I mean, there every once in a while there's a that beer commercial, and I mean, I'm, that's for people that are 21 and older. So I mean, parents. I mean, you, I'm family friendly. The parents should be able to enjoy me as well. Whatever the case may be, if you want to send me a T-shirt so I can wear, my size is a 2XL. All right, I'm a very big guy. I'm 6'2 and I'm kind of heavy, so. Very intimidating. Just, yeah, I'm kind of cool. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Like I said before, don't forget to go over and check out Koji's... Where's the Koji's... Oh, wait, hold on. Roblox here. Fade, 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 fade. Koji, there we go. Hashtag Code Part as the hashtag. Oh, he's a advertising it as well. <laughs> Sorry, inside the game he said, uh, code fart, oh gosh, hold on, where, where did it go? Uh, okay. Mm, fade, 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 Umbreon, 20,000 said it. Mm, there we go. Alright. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber does at the end of the videos, but it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, wash your hands. Love you guys very much. Smash the like button, but not with your face and from six feet away. Um, be sure to social media distance as much as possible. Love you guys. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Steven! Be sure to social di You stay over there. We're a good 12 feet, right? And that's, that's just that little extra. I know we're supposed to be six. I put you double, okay? Double it. Six for me, six for you. See? See, that way we both get the six feet distance. And your mask looks amazing. I know I don't have mine on right now, but we also have this big plexiglass that I installed. You like that? You, well, I know that it locks from your side and I have the key, but that's not... What do you mean? it? You were supposed to go home ten minutes ago. Oh. Well, you're going to have to wait. Okay, the social distance. I'll have to go get my mask, and then I can get the key, and then I can open it up and let you out, and you can go home. Okay. okay. Yeah, you have cats. 
But what are the cats' names? Ben and Jerry. Is that like the ice cream? You have a cat named Ben. Oh, you have two cats named Ben and Jerry. <sighs> Love you guys. Outro. That's not the. That's not the button, Steven. That's not the. No, that just switches in between the two. Where's the the no the outro button? Oh, you no, it used to be Control Shift One. You changed it to Control Shift O. Why? Oh, O for outro. Huh? That's actually really smart. Outro. No, I don't see it anywhere. No, I can't I can't find the key. No. No, I didn't misplace it. We'll, we'll get it figured out.